Do you want to know how to use all those fancy APIs that the pro DMs are using on Roll20? Welcome to part two of my top five API video. I'm Seb, and today we're going to be looking at another five useful APIs that I use to enhance my Roll20 game. If you want to see more videos like this as well, and Dungeons & Dragons live streams, then please hit that subscribe button below and the bell notification button. All right, without any further ado, let's just swan dive right into this, shall we? Please note that these APIs are not ranked in any particular order. Number one, Aura Tint Health Colors. This API is great. If you tire of players asking you which creature looks more injured, which monsters have been attacked already, and how their fellow party members are shaping up, even though one of their arms is clearly dangling by a thread of skin, then this API is for you. With a simple click and install, this API will create an aura around every token to represent their current hit points. A green aura means nice and healthy, orange means injured, and red means call the cleric. I'm sure anyone who's played a video game before will understand that the redder your health bar gets, the more hurt you are. It also shows up as blue if your current hit points exceed your hit point maximum, which can be great for showing temp hit points. It also adds a cool animation that shows a blood spatter when taking damage, and a green splodge when a creature is healed. Ah, that's better. Number two, turn marker. Ever accidentally skip to the next person's turn when they're actually not finished yet? Struggled to keep track of which creature's turn it is in a massive fight? This API got your back. Another amazing API. This is a fairly simple API. It keeps track of whose turn it is. A red rune will hover under the target token when it is their turn in the initiative order. It scrolls through following the person's current turn, and when their turn is finished, there'll be an end of turn button inside a big purple box in the chat box, prompting you to end your turn. There's also a simple command, exclamation mark EOT, that will move the turn order forward. Number three, status info. This API is great because it links up with the status marker tokens. If you use these markers to keep track of current conditions, active spells and whatnot, then you can add a simple extra reference text box to accompany these status markers. For example, when you add on a marker to represent someone being prone, this status marker will show exactly what the prone status entails and present the information for everyone to see in the chat box. This may save a lot of time trying to reference a rule book and it is an amazing resource for new and experienced DMs and players alike. I highly recommend it. You can even customize the text and status markers to suit your own personal preferences and import your entire compendium between games. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this API. Number four, HD Tracker. If you want to be able to click your hit dice button and have it roll your hit dice, deduct your hit dice, and then add hit points to your character sheet automatically, then this is the API for you. Now, at the time of writing this, unfortunately, a recent update to Roll20 has made this API broken. However, I'm sure a fix will come soon. And this API is too good not to have in this list. It's as simple as that though. It fills up your hit points automatically when you roll your hit die. And this makes life easier for you and your players. Number five, chat set attribute. This is the API I promised you all in the last video. And behold, I have delivered. This API is going to make long rests a breeze if you are using the OGL Roll20 character sheet. Simply install this API and set up a one-click macro that will allow your players to take a long rest at the touch of a button. Now, this API can do all sorts of things with attributes, but personally, I just use it for long rests. This will require a specific macro to use, and I will have that also linked in the description below. And while you're there, why not drop a comment if you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions about anything at all. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have and would love to help you. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. It will really help me out. I'm making two videos per week, one for players on Mondays and one for DMs on Wednesdays. So subscribing and hit that bell button will notify you when the videos go live. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions at all, please drop a comment below. I look forward to seeing you again. I'm Seb and I'll see you soon.